family members are saying that she was poisoned during her Lawala ceremony because, you know, some of her relatives and family members were just not happy that she was being paid Lawala for. I believe that even apart from the Lawala ceremony, Zahara was going to meet this fatal end. Because believe it or not, doctors told Zahara that she was going to die. This is not the first December that she spends in hospital. In 2018, she spent a month in hospital. Hi fam, welcome to my channel, Maureen Entertainment. For those of you who don't know, I have a TikTok channel at Maureen Entertainment. Please don't forget to follow me there. Please don't forget to subscribe here. In this video, we'll be talking about a very, very, very tragic incident. An icon in the music industry, Zahara. It was so unexpected um, to hear about Zahara's passing. We are losing too many people too soon, but we're going to talk about it. When it comes to death, I mean, we, we, we can't really explain whether or not a person would still have been alive. However, we can put pieces together to look at contributing factors. First of all, condolences to Zara's family. This is a very tragic time. Um, to her friends, to everyone who just heard these news and just decided that, you know what, we are literally living under the grace of God. And I'm one of those people who believe in the sovereignty of God, which basically means that our lives are in God's hands. However, um, I also believe that behavioral patterns can in some way contribute to the longevity of your life or how long you live. And I remember at some point, Sahara was diagnosed with a liver failure, right? And doctors told her that she needed to tone down on the drinking. Doctors told her that she needed to actually stop drinking. Um, the alcohol abuse was so bad that, you know, family members had to find someone to, to monitor Sahara to monitor the drinking just to ensure that she lives a little longer because doctors told her that if you don't stop drinking you are going to die and in 2018 she spent about a month in hospital right and that was due to the heavy drinking um, the drinking spree basically that Sahara was on and it's a very sad case because no one decides to wake up and waste their life away drinking. No one decides that this is how I want to live my life. There really is always an underlining issue. There's always something that provokes anyone to take a bad decision, despite knowing um, what it could ultimately lead to. Zahara had been through a lot. Zahara had been through so much at such a young age. And no one can really say that... They didn't know or there's always signs always signs i remember um when i when i look back at sahara's songs there's a song of hers um in Diveze. i went and actually listened to the lyrics and i realized that the signs were there remember she's an artist so artists will normally reflect themselves in their artwork so for zahara artwork work was her music in her song, there's, a, there's where she says, Ugoti, um, andibonu gwanaba, andibonu nzuzo, um, which basically means I don't see the benefit, I, I don't see happiness. Us as the recipient of, of music, we, we sort of feed in our own emotions into it when we listen to these songs, andibonu nzuzo, andibonu gwanaba. We feed our own emotions into it. Yet it's the artist that is saying, hey, I'm, I'm not okay. It's the artist that is saying, I need help. And I feel that for the longest of time, for the longest of time, Zahara has been telling us, has been um, making us aware of the fact that she is not okay. I mean, Zahara in her own right was a very successful artist, you know, with successful albums like Lolliwe, Pendula, Country Girl. 
But it's sad because her talent didn't reflect in a bank account. She was so talented, but that did not reflect in the numbers. In her own personal bank account, it got to a point where we started seeing reports of um, Sahara demanding payment um, for monies and, you know, rights to her intellectual property. And that's where you find that whole Tim and Gossi and DJ Spool saga. So after she left TS Records, um, after being exploited, she, she demanded rights to her intellectual property. She demanded payment. It's so sad to work so hard for something and someone else benefits. That we still have people who benefit from someone else's hard labor. And I don't know, I've, I've been looking at the socials and people have been saying that, you know, TJ Spoo should not be allowed or is not allowed to see Zahara in hospital, should not be allowed to attend a funeral. And I have mixed emotions about that. I don't, I don't want to actually comment on that. You can if you want to comment on whether or not you feel that DJ Subu should be allowed anywhere near um, Zahara, whether it's in the hospital, whether it's um, at a funeral. But what I will say is that if we never had a good relationship while I was still alive, while, while I was still breathing, if, if I never had a good relationship with you, you can, you can bet that even in my death, I, I fail to see how you would want to now reconcile with me when I'm gone. So for DJ Zabu, it, it would, it would, that's why I'm saying I want to leave it to the public. Public's opinion really matters a, a lot in these instances. But personally, if we never had a good relationship while I was still alive, I'm, I'm, I'm really failing to see how, you know, we can have a relationship in my day. And to hear stories that, you know, while she's in hospital, her, sister's, her sister is, is gallivanting with her money, buying clothes. Your sister's in hospital and you are using that opportunity to spend her money. You... Family sometimes, family sometimes can be your end. Family sometimes can be your end. But comment what you think in the comment section. I, I don't want to say too much.